Yeah, so uh, I think we're kind of steamrolling right through the show. We don't have much longer, so you just want to like run through a whole shitload of comments? Sure, sure. I mean, not, not comments, but uh, headlines. Let's just kind of run through them real fast. I'll start off. I'll start Go off. For it. Um, did you hear about this Turkey earthquake? Um, 7.2. Uh, just in time for Thanksgiving. Yeah. Shaking things up in Turkey. Killed, eight, <laughs> killed 88 people. Hardest in the area was Ercis, E-R-C-I-S, uh, in the eastern city of 75,000 people. Uh, 80 buildings collapsed in, the, in, in that city. Yeah, I'm all um, joking aside, that's terrible. I, you know, obviously I hate to hear that. So, so uh, some inmates escaped to prison um, when the walls fell down. So that I'm sure they were happy, you know, for them. <laughs> uh, they said they were praising a lot for the yes, yes. for the earthquake. <laughs> um, uh, Look, uh, one man's you know one man's trash is another man's treasure. They had no electricity, no heating. Everyone is outside in the cold now. Yeah, man. Oh, is it cold out there this yeah, time? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. terrible. Listen, it's terrible. Um, it also shook buildings in. Uh, Iran. Iran was also hit by the earthquake. You know, and it's sad. It's sad that we waste all our, you know, foreign aid all the all the rest of this time because now when we actually should go help a country, you know, we're not able to. This is where this is where we should be sending our troops. This is where yeah. we should be sending our money. Yeah. Let's go out there and help these people. But uh, you know, the, we, we don't need their oil reserves. We don't need their uh, president. Yeah. We don't need their president dead because he's trying to get off, you know, the dollar. Yeah. Uh, so we have no we have, we have nothing to say about that other than we're sorry and but uh, Israel we'll see you in Iran. Israel pledged uh, some aid to to Turkey. Wow, they pledged to give them aids. That's ridiculous. Yeah, that's e disgusting. Even though Turkey was involved in this uh, this uh, 2010 Israel Navy raid on a flotilla, you remember that flotilla? No. Flotilla? No. Um, where it left nine Turks dead. So, so even though the, the the Israelis killed nine nine Turkish people on that boat, there's there's, there's just someone else not there. Speaking of uh, speaking of AIDS, this is my favorite story of the week. Uh, churches in England and mostly in Africa are telling people, God heals, doctors treat. Mm -hmm. So prayer can cure your HIV, and they're saying they're not telling you to take stop taking their medication, stop taking your medication. But that's what the people are doing. They're stopping taking their medication, and people are dying. Because they're they're not taking their HIV medication, and they're just deciding to pray. Um, clearly, prayer God works, clearly Power God is prayer. letting them know how He feels about yes, that. Yes, yes. That's it, just basically uh, the same people that don't give the the African people condoms because it's against their religion. You know, contraceptives. You know, it's uh, it's definitely an issue. You know, you know. Yep. So so we we promised a pumpkin smashing on this episode, Jeremiah. Do you have a hammer or anything? Yeah, we can do it, of course. Yeah, okay, okay. So, we'll so do it. Stick with us. Stay tuned for the pumpkin smashing. Stick with us. As soon as it turns 9 o'clock, what is that? In nine minutes, we're going to go out back and we're going to smash a pumpkin live on your ass. Uh, next headline? I think yeah, uh, you're actually next. I had the, uh, yeah. I just did the AIDS thing, but I can do oh, WikiLeaks sorry. is shutting down uh, until they can get some funding. Uh, Visa, PayPal, all these people have kind of shut. Uh, they, they blocked it out. Uh, they, yeah, they won. WikiLeaks has they no won. way of getting payments and... This world is all about money, so they're not going to release all these documents anymore until they uh, kind of go behind the scenes and rework how they're going to structure and how they're going to do data releasing or, or all this information release and how they're going to run their company from now on so that they can get these PayPal accounts back up and they can, yeah, I think they said they're going to go through banks now and they're going to try to do transfers and all this, but just kind of funny. W WikiLeaks admits that they're, just like all of us, they're broke. Personally, I, I I think WikiLeaks may be a CIA operation also, so this isn't surprising as far as they're not releasing any more information. I, I'm of the opinion they can release information without the money coming in. Like, why is they money to release the information? They can put it all on fucking their blog if they wanted to. But um, uh, and, and, and other other world news, the U.S. ambassador to Syria leaves uh, Syria because of fears for his safety. Over that fake terror plot? Uh-huh, uh-huh. But I don't know. The, uh, <clears throat> apparently there's been credible th threats against his personal safety, mainly by the Syrian national news. Uh, they're, they're calling for him to be attacked and... Uh, Boring. Um, Get okay. out. See you later. Okay. Go. America, love it or leave it. See you later. Oh, I guess that applies to us, too. I'll be, uh, I'll be broadcasting live from Mexico next show, live with my um, Mexican drug cartel. Uh, bon Jovi opening up a pay what you can restaurant. I've never heard of this before, but apparently it's not a new idea. People do it all the time, but this time you can do it with rock and roll and style, baby. Show up at the restaurant. I think they just they their recommendation is ten bucks a meal. You know, for a three course meal is all they really ask for. 
Uh, technically, you can give them nothing. That's what happened to Radiohead when they put out their CD for free. Nobody paid anything for it. So this business is probably going to go straight into the gutter too because we as a society don't know how to do anything unless people are raping us for, you know, a four hundred dollar iPhone. It's what we want. Yes, yes. It gives us status and makes us better than the people who can't afford a four hundred dollar iPhone, right? Mm -hmm. yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes. That's why I have a cheap ass. Bullshit Metro PCS. If you're watching this nationally, you have no idea who Metro PCS is. That's how. That's how cheap this phone is. This is my turn. Uh, John McCain. Uh, this should have been my in my Gaddafi pile, but John McCain basically came out and kind of said, "I think dictators all over the world, including Bashir al-Assad, maybe even Putin, maybe some Ch maybe some Chinese, <laughs> maybe all of them, may be a little bit nervous, a little more nervous. It's the spring, not just the Arab Spring, about us taking out Gaddafi." Uh, kind of putting everyone, including Russia and China, on so notice that it's a Western Spring of violence and that uh, now destruction. that now we're in the business of contract killing your leaders, and if we don't like you, we're just going to start killing you. And who cares about democracy? We're going to install a government for you, and they're going to go ahead and install Sharia law. And uh, you know, as long as we get the oil money, uh, as long as we can keep putting out iPhones for four hundred dollars. All is well with the world as long as white people are white people, white people, white people. Yes, yes. Whoop! Why, goes this, why does this always happen? <sighs> anyway, if you're watching uh, on the green screen version, you probably see a diminished quality. Lights just went out. And the qual the quality was diminished from the so the start that started the show. How dare you? Yeah. How dare you? Um. So 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 let's go over some 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 face uh, some Justin TV comments. Uh, for to, to end the show out here, um, I say, I say, all the guys running for president should fight UFC style winners president. Oh, are we done with headlines? What are you doing? Oh, you saw some headlines there, Jim. Oh, I yeah, got a shitload here. I don't yeah. care about. It. I don't, listen, who was in here? Rusty Shackelford, us, Jim, Bishop Seven Hundred. I don't care about these people. I don't care anything about these people because they just said our show's about nothing. Okay, I'm a little <laughs> insulted. Uh, scientists are now all upset because they say that there's little time left to halt global warming. It's, we, we've, we've delayed acting too long and now it's going to be too late and we're never going to be able to stop the uh, polar bears from dying and the ice caps from melting and the end of the world and this and that and Al putting money in Al Gore's pocket and all of us need to pay carbon taxes immediately. Nothing. The New York, a New York City artist plans, let's see if you can see her, she's, she's not even hot. She plans to give birth live in an art gallery as a performance art, uh, giving birth. Now, is, is, is the fetus going to be used in this, uh, not the fetus, but the, what, what do they call it, the, the uh, embryonic in, the enclosement of the baby going to be used in this art? Embryonic enclosement. Um, uh, what do they call that? <laughs> no, yeah. You eat the uh, placenta. placenta. It, it, is the placenta going to be used in this this art? Yeah, I think that's. I think what they should do is just kind of like what they should do after she gives birth. They should Jackson Pollock the whole bed and her and everything with the placenta. They should just take it and kind of like nice. splatter everything. Now that would be art. Uh, how giving birth could possibly ever be art? I don't know. Um, I think every woman in history then is good. And is animal, now, and animal cows. Yeah. Chickens. Ooh. Ooh, there you go. Yeah. Next next week, live on the show, we're going to have a cow give birth on the show because we're artists. Yes, yes. We're artists. Uh, listen, the Vatican is calling... This is this is some uh, revelations, end time bullshit here. The Vatican... Now, listen, when you're the Vatican, you're the Vatican and you call for a World Bank, they're calling for a World Bank now. You, and you're the Vatican, and, and you know that everybody who, who listens to you and follows you uh, believes wholeheartedly in revelations and end times. Why would you scare them like this? You know how many, how many people are panicking right now, ready for, ready for the, the, the beast to arrive, and, uh, you know, all, 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 the, all the loveliness that goes along with that. Bring in Armageddon. The Pope is now calling for a World Bank. Um, our Nazi Pope, Susan Sarandon was right, he's a Nazi Pope. He can go fuck himself. You're never going to get a World Bank. The people of Greece will unite with the rest of us. And we will <laughs> They'll get whatever they want. Will, oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, Rick Perry's commissioning planes. He's flying around on private jets that are uh, that were used 
to uh, by some rap producer years ago. Got busted, um, you know, moving a bunch of drugs and cocaine and everything on his jets. And Rick Perry is using that same company. You see the company that he keeps. I'm out of headlines. I'm out of steam. We're out of time. We've got one minute. How do you want to wrap up the? Uh, this is like, what do you, what do you want to call this? The regular. Regular hour and and next next the next five minutes will be super soaker bonus. Sounds good. Pumpkin smashing time. Yeah, yeah. So so this is this is the last minute. I want to thank everybody for watching the show in the chat room. It's greatly appreciated. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, subscribe to the to the show, uh, and uh, be sure you watch next week because next week's show is going to be so insane you can't believe it. Next week, yeah, we're going to go to promote it now. It's going to be the most insane, intense episode yeah. ever. Your head will explode, your eyes will explode, your, your anus will explode with, with delight over this, this awesome show next week. So make sure you tune in. So to everybody who is tuning out, which could be nobody, because everybody wants to see us smash a pumpkin, we'll see you later. We'll see you next week. That's the end of the show. Lickety split. Peace out.